UK government sabotaging Namde Kano's unconditional release. Hello, viewers, welcome to my channel. According to group of lawyers, American group of lawyers, according to American lawyer, UK government have been the ones sabotaging the unconditionalism of Mandekano through Katrina Law. All this why that different court upon court has told the Nigerian government to, to free Mandekano. It has always been UK government. It has always been British. I told you from the beginning, from the day he was kidnapped. Whatever I have said here is gospel. Oh, that will Many people believe that Buhari government is the person keeping them the calm. When Pam Basilika Mechin went to meet Buhari and he made a promise. That if the court release him, he is going to set him free. After that, Katrina alarm called Buhari government not to listen to him. Some of you who still remember. When Nandekano was kidnapped, I told you that the Kenyan government knows how Nandekano was kidnapped in Kenya. That they collaborated with the UK government. That they collaborated with some Igbo men. Some of you thought I was joking. Some of you were asking me evidence. Evidence. I have told you that with special arrangement, devil can see God. Everything happening today is about UK government. These are the people who believe so much in freedom of people when it comes to white man and when it comes to them but when it comes to Africa they will not remember that they are Africa I have said this several times that any white man that does not recognize me I will never recognize that man Japan food is sad on some food, the blind, any blind who believes that because he is white, he can destroy the life of black people and indigenous people, that particular white man is a fool. What I'm saying right now, in essence, is Katina Lang is a big fool, including his. Those of them who are collaborating with her to continue to keep them the canal in DSS custody. The plan was made. They were aware that he, he was going to Kenya. Somebody sent out the information. And that person will be exposed when the time comes because no matter what i said nobody will believe you want evidence you want physical evidence no doubt people like us believe in practical but sometimes you can also see things spiritual depending on what you believe in or where you belong.
UK government thinks that we are stupid and dumb. But these days, boys know you boys again. Boys are not men. According to the lawyer, the American lawyer, Katrina Lang is the one making the release of Nambe Kano difficult. She has been going around parleying with different Igbo men that call themselves governors and different northern governors, including that in Nasorok. Many of you believe that since Queen of England was dead, that Prince Charles, which is King Charles now, will do everything possible to free Biafrans. But that was where he made a very big mistake. He is the worst. And he's going to be the worst in the body of Biafrans. I'm saying this so that you will know and be ready because the worst is about to come. They have done everything possible to frustrate Mazen Namdekano both spiritually and physically and otherwise. They have done everything possible to intimidate him, both physically and spiritually. They have tried to cajole him into believing. That he should drop the beer fragmentation. But since they are not getting him to do that, they have decided to torment him physically and this is what they are doing all oh, his health condition the suffering and everything this is why they are doing that when you see Buhari refuse to obey court order I told you that it was not by his making what is a dumb asshole yes he had me right Because if he is not, why would he allow people from the other side of the world to control him as a president? Only this shows that he is not really Buhari. He is an impostor, parading himself in Asorok as Buhari. British government made this to happen so that they will continue to keep you down. But God is going to see us through. Mazen Namdekan will be alive to get us Biafra. He will be alive to reap what he sowed. He will be alive to stand face to face with British and tell them, I told you that enough is enough. Jay Biafra.